LSU fan enthusiasm for this game never really has gotten off the ground. The Tigers still have only sold 10,000 of their 16,000 tickets allotted for the Chick-fil-A Bowl. But head coach Les Miles and his Tigers say don't worry, that lack of enthusiasm won't transfer to the team. You know, they, we got to get on the field and play regardless if our fans show up or not. We still got to go up and show up on the field. We're going to be here and we're going to play as well as we can. During LSU's hospital visit and other team activities, the Tigers seem to really be enjoying themselves, not wishing they were somewhere else. The hospital visit was a very humbling, like a great experience, like for me and a couple of my teammates that went to the visit and all, just to see those young kids, you know, faces just light up and glow when we walk in the room, like start coloring with them and just playing air hiking and stuff like that. That's all, like the most important thing you get from bowl games. Practices naturally are closed to the press. But LSU ensures us preparations are going well. We're not there just yet, but we're, we're coming fast. While the LSU offense expects to return mostly intact next year, this could be the final game for a number of defensive underclassmen. But the Tigers say sports agents and NFL draft projections can wait. Whatever happens in the future, the future. But you know, we, we're living for the now, you know. And right now, we have Clemson coming up, and uh, it's the only thing on our radar. Give them all the information that we have. Uh, tell them not to give the NFL a deal. One guy who is undoubtedly thrilled to be here is junior linebacker Taj Jones. Jones was academically ineligible for the entire season. But Coach Miles says that number 58 should see significant time in this contest on both defense and special teams. With the LSU Tigers in Atlanta, Jacques Doucet, WAFB 9 Sports.